Today we shall see a short video of preoperative embolization of a juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma, whose surgery otherwise is very risky because of the highly vascular nature of the tumor. Also chances of incomplete resection are high. CT scan image shows intensely enhancing mass in the left nasal cavity, nasopharynx, infratemporal fossa with extension into the inferior orbital fissure. The Radkowski and Fish classifications are commonly used to grade JNAs, we use the former in routine practice. This tumor classifies as stage 2C. A complete six-vessel angiogram was done. There was no supply from the right carotid, but extensive tumor blush seen on left carotid injection. Selective left external carotid artery angiogram showed most of the tumor to have supply from its branches. A dense tumor stain was noted. The angiogram was carefully analyzed for any abnormal connection between the external and internal carotid arterial territories, as inadvertent embolization in the latter may be catastrophic for the patient. Superselective catheterization was done of each feeding artery with a microcatheter. In this case they were the internal maxillary, ascending pharyngeal and the middle meningeal arteries. Successively, these were embolized using PVA particles. Post-embolization control angiogram showed complete devascularization of the external carotid arterial supply, and small volume of the tumor still perfused via ophthalmic artery branches. The latter were not embolized as chances of complications are very high. The entire embolization procedure was done under local anesthesia, and the patient was operated next morning, with about 350 milliliters blood loss and complete tumor could be excised endoscopically. The post-procedure follow-up contrast CT scan performed on seventh day of surgery shows no residual tumor, 